With us now is Michigan senior attackman Kyle Jackson. And Kyle, I say attackman because you've moved from the midfield to the attack. What's that transition been like for you during the offseason? It's been great. I mean, I've only ever really played midfield growing up, um, especially at my high school and my first three years here at the University of Michigan. But moving to the attack position is definitely going to be a great transition for me. I'm super excited about it. I'm working with a couple of great guys uh, with Peter Krause and Ian King on the attack unit there so it'll be exciting and hopefully big things to come well speaking of ian king you and ian rank one two all time in scoring in the short history of michigan lacrosse you talked about the two of you working together what are the com kind of things you've done to help you with that transition in the past it's been a little hard building a little bit of chemistry with ian with me being at the midfield and him at the attack so like you said with that one two punch that we're going to have at the attack it'll be interesting to see um, the dynamic that we can create. I know that in fall ball, as of right now, we've been working extremely well together, and Peter Krause has kind of made that little bit of an addition with a bigger body, and um, ho hopefully the three of us can connect a fair amount more than the last couple of years and bring some great things to the University of Michigan. You are a member of the first class to be recruited at the University of Michigan for lacrosse. What does it mean to you to be a part of building this program? It's super exciting. I mean, that was one of the things I looked for in the recruiting process was a, a team that was kind of building. I didn't focus too much on going somewhere that had already had a solid foundation. So the University of Michigan also being very close to home was a great fit for me. What's one specific aspect of your game that you feel like you've made a tremendous amount of improvement on over the course of your career at Michigan? I'd say definitely my dodging abilities. Uh, in the past, I've kind of been a midfielder who runs to the middle of the field and Kind of stands there and works the off-ball game a little bit, but uh, moving to the attack position, I've really had to work on my game, dodging against long poles, uh, seeing as how that's a vital aspect of the attack position. And my off-ball game still remains strong, and hopefully I can prove to everyone that I'm not just an off-ball guy anymore. I can prove to them that I, I can dodge on a long pole. You were one of four players named a team captain for this season. What do you need to do to lead this team as a group this year? I think one of the biggest things is just believing in the systems that we have here at the University of Michigan. I know in the past we've had a, groups of guys in the team that goes into games and maybe we're not the strongest competitors and we lack a little bit of skill compared to the others, but we now have all the top recruiting classes and a lot of great freshmen, sophomores, juniors and seniors who are going to step up and do big things for us this year. So that'll be interesting and I know that the guys are super excited about that. Who's one of those younger guys that impressed you during the fall season that you feel like is going to make a name for himself this year? I think Decker Kern and Nick DiCaprio have really proven themselves. Um, Nick's a tremendous uh, long stick midi, and he's going to do great things for us this year. And Decker Kern, a huge high school recruit, Under Armour All-American, he's going to come in and do some big things also for the University of Michigan. And those two will be some pretty interesting players to watch this year. What have you learned from playing the sport of lacrosse over the course of your life that has helped you in other areas, particularly maybe in your schoolwork at Michigan? Definitely managing time. That's one of the biggest things with college athletics especially is just managing that time. You're doing your sport from 5 to 10 at night, or this year we have morning practices, so that's really changed things up, but 6 in the morning till 10 in the morning, just knowing how to manage that time and get to your classes, not be tired, it's going to be like a work day once we graduate here with the senior class. And I know it's, it's a lot, but uh, the college athletics definitely helps those student athletes to manage their time a lot better and manage their academics. It's your final season as a Wolverine, as you mentioned. What are the team goals for this group in 2016? Definitely make the Big Ten tournament. That's one of our biggest goals, and beat Ohio State's always – a goal for a University of Michigan athlete. As a senior class right now, we've been unable to do that in our three years here now. And for me, I know that's one of the biggest things, especially playing at Ohio State this year. That'll be big. And I'd be, like to think that uh, the University of Michigan can do great things in the Big Ten tournament as long as we make it there. Michigan senior attackman Kyle Jackson, we appreciate you taking the time and best of luck this year. Thank you.